Good day and welcome to another episode here on Super Data Science YouTube channel. Today we've got a special delivery and um, it has to do with the new Tableau version. As you might know, Tableau version 10.5 was released by Tableau on the 10th of January and we thought it good to just share with you what those main attractions are. So let's jump right into it. What is new? Well, you'll find on the Tableau site, and we've got the link included in the presentation, and you'll also find it in the comments um, below this video, a good description of all of the new features and updates that have been made. Now, these cover mostly the installation and deployment of Tableau, uh, connecting to and preparing data for your visualizations, designing views and analyzing the data, so what you put into your charts, as well as publishing your data sources and workbooks. There's some new things in the web authoring, and also they've made some improvements around the collaboration with Tableau Online and the Tableau server. We will, however, only focus on a couple in this video, and as I said, the main attractions for us, but do go and have a look at the rest of the features. So we'll be looking at um, the new .hyper format that comes with 10.5, brand spanking new. Uh, we'll also look at um, visualizations in tooltips and we'll take you through a quick demonstration of how this works and how this can be applied in a, in a, a real world um, example. We'll also um, just have a brief look at the power trend lines now available in your, um, in your models, as well as what I th personally think is a um, extremely good feature that they've um, put in now is how to downgrade your workbooks in Tableau desktop. Super handy. Um, I've been asking for this for quite some time, so it's great to see that they have actually included this. Let's start off. Let's start looking at what is the hyper. What is the hype with hyper? One, one can say as well. Well, Tableau has now um, built a new in-memory data engine. Uh, they have designed this for a very fast data ingest as well as um, fast analytical query processing on extremely large or um, even complex data sets. They um, have replaced the .tde format uh, previously used as part of the extract and upgrading to Hyper is completely seamless. Um, there's no specific data migration needed. Um, so when you start using a 10.5 model, this would be already in the background um, ready for you to use. They do claim that um, it's up to three times faster in extract creation as well as five times faster or an increase at least of five times in the query performance. Now I have not been able to test this as yet. Um, cannot wait to get my teeth into this and see if it actually makes a difference in the next one. But I do believe that um, this is gonna make our lives much easier in the future. Let's jump into an example of um, the visualizations in tooltips. Um, let's get a bit practical in here. Um, what we'll do is we'll briefly have a look at the data set we are gonna be using and building. So in, we are using the Superstore US information. So it's a, a modified version that we are using for our Udemy courses. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, go and have a look. But um, this one specifically is a modified version, as I mentioned. And this is basically giving us the different orders, the regions, what has been ordered. Um, we've got the costs, we've got the postal code it has gone to, the profits the sales and the quantity. So quite a lot of information in here. You can also see geographical information. Um, yeah, we are gonna be using this one to showcase the power of visualizations in tooltips. All right, so this file is also available from the Super Data Science um, website and the link will be in the comments below the video. All right, so I've taken the liberty of doing the heavy lifting already. Um, this is, uh, like I said, something we've already built in any case in the, uh, core, the Udemy course. So I'll just briefly take you through what I've built. Firstly, um, these are not extremely difficult visualizations, but um, I'll keeping it simple to show you um, rather the new feature. So firstly, I've just done a straightforward profit by state using the sum of profit as my color legend. Um, I've pulled it at the state level, as you can see, and straightforward, you can already see immediately which states have had the least amount of profit over the period of time that we've got the data for. Next, I've created a trend line uh, per week, basically giving us um, yeah, the, the, the profit that has been generated week by week for all of the countries and all the, sorry, with, for all of the states in our data. You can see our data is limited from January 
2015 until the end of June 2015 as well. And then lastly, I have built a sales and profit uh, chart. This is a dual access chart. And uh, what we in essence have here is the sum of sales, which is in the gray, and the sum of profit in the green, or uh, you can see if it's a negative uh, red. So uh, it cannot extremely difficult to, to build. And what we would have done in the past, and what we'll probably still be doing, is to build a dashboard looking like this, where we can see each state, the profit as well as sales and profit on one sheet, and make sure that we add interactivity by using it as a filter. Um, and they, that gives us the power to drill into uh, any, any specific state, like Montana, to see which product category is making the least amount of profit, uh, or loss in this case. Um, and for other states, you know, what had the profit looked like for a specific period of time, which is super helpful. Um, it's a bit of clicking around to find your insights, as you can see. And sometimes we have certain states like North Dakota, we've got a loss on one product category, but a quite a significant profit on the other. Now, this is super nice and, and very nice to use. What Tableau has given us now in 10.5 is to include visualizations such as these two on top of others. So um, we'll be using it on this map that we've got. And it is as straightforward as going into your tooltip and in essence, clicking on the insert, you'll see a new uh, option over there called Sheets and you can include profit by week. Now it automatically puts the code down there and you can just hit okay. So what would happen now in our normal tooltip and the normal properties apply. If you start hovering over it, voila, we already immediately have now, as you can see, the total profit and then week by week what the profit is, just as it has been for um, the other chart. So this already applies some sort of filtering on the um, city that you are, on the state that you are, and um, it displays it like that. So no more clicking around, you can quickly, just by hovering over a specific state, get a lot of information. Now they do not limit you on one specific chart. So we can just go into tooltip, um, just make some space and go into our sheets and select the next one. Now you can either replace it or add both together and immediately this gives us a lot of information. Montana, you can see the profit per week and the product category. And similarly for all other states, as you can see. What's very important to notice as well is that for each of these charts, just make sure that your view has been set to the entire view. Because if you have it as a specific width um, or a, let's just change it back to standard, and we start playing around with the sizing, if we now start going into our tooltip, you can see that at the bottom it says the view is too large to show. So obviously that is a problem. Um, but it's quick, easy fixable. We just click on entire view and go back and it will show it properly. That's super helpful in my mind. Um, and I'm really happy to see that. And it will add a lot of value for our users of our models. Now for the power trend line, Tableau has given us a lot of information around it. Um, you can read up a little bit where they've provided us with the model type, which is being used, further transformation that's happening um, and how they get to the specific trend line and you will need your stats knowledge when using this trend line and to add your trend line to your model i will briefly show you it's at exactly the same manner as you would do um, per normal so you will just be hitting a right click and adding a trend line and when uh, adding this you can just obviously edit it and select whichever trend line you are using so just another option over there using the power trend line Lastly, and also one of my favorite changes that has been made to Tableau now, is they have created a, um, a option for us to export our Tableau model to prior versions. So what has happened in the past, and my own experience as well, is that you are supplied a model by a colleague or um, joining a project where you are getting a model that has been created in a version newer than the one you might be using specifically. And Tableau has not had backward compatibility before. So you would always have to install a new version, but now they have created an option for us to export as a prior version. So obviously they have limited it up to version 10.2. And it is important to note that any, um, you know, 
backward compatibility that you're exporting to would also be losing some of the functionality of the newer versions. So for instance, if you are going back to version 10.2, that would have an impact, for instance, on the um, new extract, which is being used, new extract type, which is being used in Tableau, the dot .hyper. So you would default back to TDE, for instance. But nonetheless, very um, helpful in my opinion, and um, I'm really happy to see it here. And that basically concludes our video for today. I hope this gives you a bit of more insight on the new changes there or the new applications of the functionality that's available. I hope you get to play around with these and experiment a bit more. Don't forget, if you've liked this video, to uh, just give us a thumbs up, um, leave us your comments or questions as well. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There are some more custom Tableau charts coming up soon.